Hey there, thanks for watching. This is uh, part five of a five part series on text mining with the free and open source uh, program called Rapid Miner. If you haven't seen my other videos, you can check out my YouTube channel. It's at uh, youtube.com slash user slash Vancouver data. Uh, my name is Neil McGuigan and you can see my blog at vancouverdata.blogspot.com. So I'm going to talk about text classification in Rapid Miner. So I'm going to read documents from a database, uh, calculate their word frequencies, and use um, an algorithm called nearest neighbor to automatically categorize the documents into categories. And from that, so it basically learns how to categorize them from previous examples, and then it should be able to automatically categorize them into the correct uh, class or categories later. And then so we get a nice matrix like this where it um, say it predicts uh, you know software category and it gets you know gets it right 23 times and gets it wrong a couple times but you know 92% uh, class recall is pretty good. So overall it's able to classify documents with 83% accuracy which isn't bad um, and the more documents it have the better it's going to be. I'm just going to step through that Okay, so <clears throat> I changed the database uh, slightly. So I added uh, a field called category, which is from the job board. Okay, so I returned the category and the job text. And I'm just selecting a few categories here um, instead of all of them because there weren't quite enough uh, examples to figure out all of them. Okay, and then I use the process documents from data operator, strip out the HTML, lowercase. I uh, replaced a couple tokens such as uh, e-mail into email and I, i'm into i am. Um, and then I tokenized, turns them into uh, just individual words. Filtered out the most common words like and and in. Uh, stemmed the words, which means getting rid of um, the suffixes, so like experienced becomes experience, and experiences becomes experience, so it counts them the same. Filter out uh, the single letter words and calculate the TFIDF score and prune out words that only appear in one document. Okay, then I use the um, now to get the category from the read database operator through the process documents uh, from data operator. You have to select the add meta information. Okay, so that'll let the category column pass through. Okay, and then I selected uh, use the select attributes operator to filter out some of that unnecessary metadata tags. It adds like the file time or file name, uh, which is just gonna be blank. So I have it so it removes non missing, removes uh, columns that are, have all missing values. Okay, and then I set the role. The role is. Um, that you want for the category is going to be the label, which is uh, equivalent to your y uh, variable in a regression, okay, to the dependent variable. Um, and then the name of the label is, is the category column. So I'm going to, going to learn which category goes where and then try to predict the category later. Okay, so just, just pretend that's your y variable in, your, uh, as, in terms of regression. And then in cross validation, so basically it takes the whole data set, um, grabs a portion of it, a random portion of it. Okay, so I'm using five cross validations here. So it'll grab 80% um, of the, uh, approximately 80% of the data set, build the model off of that, okay? And then loop and take another 80% of the data and build the model off of that. And, and that way it can get a better understanding of its actual error rate. Okay, so it builds the model off 80%, compares it to uh, see how well it does with the, uh, the remaining data, and then you can get a more accurate uh, error rate that way. Okay, so that's a uh, grouped operator, and it's got two parts. So the training, you add your learning algorithm here, okay, and then the testing side, you apply your model, calculate the performance. You can just leave those defaults there. Um, here I'm using the nearest neighbor algorithm, which is the KNN operator. 
and you have to pick your number of neighbors. I, uh, I picked three here. And then I used the, uh, the cosine similarity to find the nearest neighbors, which is generally appropriate for uh, text documents. Okay, and then I return a bunch of stuff. And from that, you get back your example set in its regular form. Um, it tells you about the model, and then it gives you the performance of the model. So 83% accuracy in terms of uh, classifying documents. Okay, so I'm just going to run that. And pause here. Okay, that was actually pretty quick. It took uh, just eight seconds, I believe. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we get 83.46 plus or minus 2% or 6% accuracy. Um, so when it predicts the food or beverage uh, category, it gets it right 51 times. Okay. And, but it gets it wrong a couple other times. And when it predicts healthcare, it gets it right 29 times and then gets it wrong a few other times. So, you know, the most. Um, or performed worst on the uh, skilled trades one. I performed best on the uh, healthcare, probably because you know there's there's more healthcare words that are uh, easier to discriminate on based than compared to uh, to skilled trades. Okay, so I use these five categories here, and that is basically uh, how word uh, categorization works. So the reason I picked three um, nearest numbers is because I did it a few times and found that three provided the highest accuracy. Uh, you can also use the um, highest parameters operator. There it is, optimize parameters. Um, so that'll put an outer loop outside of cross validation, and let it, you. Uh, and it'll pick the right number of nearest neighbors for you. It'll run it, you know, several times, and um, whichever number of nearest neighbors has the uh, the lowest error rate, it'll pick that one. But uh, I'm just gonna leave that for now, um, just to keep things simple. Okay, and. I'm also going to look at um, using Naive Bayes, which is another popular word classification algorithm. It's a lot of spam filters use it. Okay, now this one didn't get as good accuracy as uh, KNN, but it's useful for how important words are to a particular class. So I'm just going to pause that for a second. I guess that was pretty fast too. It took about 12 seconds. Okay, so performance wise, uh, 76%, which isn't too bad, but KNN was better. If you look at the distribution table, you can see for example, the food beverage category that these were the most important words. So Indian, Korean, breakfast, chef, HR is probably hours, you know, dollar per hour, server kitchen shift. So that kind of makes sense. For healthcare, so these are the weightings of each word uh, for the model. Uh, but for healthcare, so CDA, a certified dental assistant, uh, receptionist, oh, I got a subscriber, thanks. Uh, care patient. All that sort of thing. So DR is probably doctor. Sales, you've got telemarketing, market, promotion. These are the uh, stemmed words here. Student. Okay, so that's uh, so Bayes can be a good way to look at um, you know which words are important to classifying a document. But and KN won't really tell you that, but it can be a bit, bit more accurate. So it's good to play with a few different um, types of learners. 
Okay, and you can also use support vector machines. Uh, but those are generally can only do two classes at a time. The other ones can do multiple ones. And so that is uh, document cl or categorization. So I talked about um, you know passing through a category through the process documents upper, setting the right role to the right column, uh, cross validation. Okay, and how it's good for finding the proper error rate. And then picking uh, different training algorithms, including KNN and Naive Bayes. And then looking at the uh, accuracy of a learner, as well as uh, figuring out which words are important in terms of classifying. Okay, so that is the conclusion of this series of videos on uh, text mining and rapid miner. Uh, check out my blog at vancouverdata.blogspot.com, and I'll be posting up uh, you know, more series uh, in the future. I think I'll be doing one on, on web scraping and crawling. Um, but leave some comments and let me know which one you want to hear. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.